Here's the place where you will find alternative ways to make you stronger and healthier. Here's the melting pot where acupuncture, functional medicine, biomedicine, herbology, and nutrition are well integrated. Welcome to Acupuncture and Above. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode. In this episode, we'll talk about the difference between fructose and glucose. And why it is important to know the distinctions between them. Firstly, what are fructose and glucose? Well, in my previous episode, I dedicated the whole one talking about fructose in detail. I encourage you to check out that episode because it provides a wealth of valuable information there. So, where do you hear the name of glucose? Most likely, perhaps in your blood work report, right? Glucose is、uh, one of the chief markers in almost everyone's annual checkup. Okay, so if your、uh, glucose level is elevated outside the normal range, your doctor may order a further testing, such as hemoglobin A1c, to check for pre-diabetic. So, glucose is often referred to as blood sugar, but we don't refer to fructose as blood sugar. Why? Let me explain it. Fructose and glucose are both simple sugars, also known as monosaccharides, which are found naturally in fruits and vegetables. But they have different chemical structures and characteristics, and they are metabolized differently in the human body. Glucose is the primary source of energy for the body's cells, including the brain, muscles, and other organs. And is essential for normal body functions. It is naturally produced by plants through photosynthesis and can be found in various foods such as fruits, vegetables, and grains. However, fructose is only naturally produced in fruits and vegetables, but not in grains. This is the first difference between them. Grains, including wheat, barley, rice, corn, and oats. Contain complex carbohydrates that is broken down by enzymes in the body into simple sugars, including glucose. That is to say, when you eat an apple, for example, it provides both glucose and fructose. When you eat a piece of bread, pasta, or rice, your body will break down these carbohydrates into glucose, not fructose, and then it is absorbed into your bloodstream, raise your blood sugar. For energy usage, the second difference between glucose and fructose is how our body metabolizes. Glucose gets into the bloodstream immediately after absorption, causing a rapid increase of blood sugar. However, fructose first metabolized by the liver, then it is converted into glucose or glycogen. Therefore. Consuming fructose does not cause immediate blood sugar raise, but is rather like a gradually chain to rise up of blood sugar. That's why fructose is not commonly referred as blood sugar, although eventually it leads to the same results as glucose. The third difference is the sweetness between them. Fructose is much sweeter than glucose, so. When people are looking for a sweetener to add to their food, fructose is a much appealing choices to them because it is much sweeter, and it does not raise blood sugar right away. Initially, fructose was marketed as a healthier alternative to other sugars, and because corn is a cheap and abundant source of fructose, it became the primary source for making sweeteners. This led to the creation of high fructose corn syrup, which involves a multi-step process of converting corn starch into glucose and then processing it to produce a syrup high in fructose. Unfortunately, the widespread use and overconsumption of high fructose corn syrup has become a major health concern. Please refer to the episode of Fructose One Hundred and One to find more information about this. It is worth noting that when fructose is metabolized by the liver, it produces triglycerides, 
and uric acid as byproducts. It is very important for some people because they don't even drink alcohol, they don't eat seafoods often, even their total cholesterol level is normal. They still have high elevated triglyceride or high uric acid. In many cases, consuming food that are high in fructose or sweeteners or added sugars such as um, juice, soda, processed food, can be the culprit. Therefore, it's important to be mindful of what you eat and try to have a balanced diet. I have gone over the difference between fructose and the glucose. Now I'm going to answer a few questions that you may have about sugars. Question number one, table sugar versus fructose-based sweeteners, which one is better? Table sugar, also known as sucrose, is made from sugar cane, or sugar beets and is commonly used in cooking and baking. It is made up of 50% of glucose and 50% of fructose. While high fructose corn syrup it is derived from corn and undergoes a chemical process to convert the glucose in cornstarch into fructose, both can be part of a healthy diet in small amounts. However, many health experts recommend to limit intake of added sugars, including both table sugar and high fructose corn syrup. Question number two, brown sugar versus white sugar, which is the healthier choice? White sugar is a highly refined form of sugar that's processed to remove all traces of molasses. This leaves behind pure sucrose crystals with a bright white color and a fine texture, making it a popular choice for baking and cooking. Brown sugar, however, is made by mixing white sugar with molasses, giving it a brown color and slightly sticky texture. Brown sugar also has a caramel-like flavor that's great for recipes where a deeper, richer taste is desired. Now, when it comes to nutrition, there's not much difference between the two. Both white and brown sugar contain roughly the same amount of calories and have a similar effect on blood sugar levels when consumed in moderation. However, some people believe that brown sugar may be slightly healthier than white sugar because it contains small amounts of minerals such as calcium, potassium, and iron that are present in molasses. But these amounts are very small and not significant enough to have a major impact on health. That's why it's important to limit the intake of added sugars, including white sugars and brown sugars, and try to choose natural sources of sweetness, such as fruit, whenever possible. Okay? That's today's episode. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.